Hello and welcome. My name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to enable you to post to Instagram from your web browser on a Mac. So Instagram, when it first came out and still to a large degree today, was used primarily on a smartphone. You'd be walking around, you'd snap a few pictures, you'd add some filters and some effects to the photo that you took, and then you would upload it to Instagram directly from your phone. Well, as Instagram has started to grow in popularity, you've got a lot of different people who wanted to post things to Instagram and it wasn't necessarily very easy to do so. So if you wanted to post, let's say, a photo that you took with your DSLR camera, you would have to take the picture off of your camera, put it onto your computer, upload it to Dropbox or connect your phone or something, get it from your phone and then upload it to Instagram. Well, since then, a number of different pieces of software have come out and uh, one that I actually covered recently on how to actually upload to Instagram from your Mac, but it's still a little bit quirky. And one of the things that I've always wanted to see happen was being able to upload just directly to a browser. And it turns out there's a little trick that you can use that will actually enable you to do this. So once again, as I mentioned, sometimes if you're just working, if you're like me and you work a lot in Photoshop, you've got a lot of screenshots that you'd like to be able to upload if you know, you're a designer or something like that. Or again, if there's some photography that you like to upload as well, this is a great little trick to save you some time. So let's go ahead and jump in. It's a really simple, basic trick. But if you're on a Mac and you have Safari, this will work for you. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, so here I am on my Instagram account. Uh, I'm just within my Safari web browser. So Safari, as you uh, well may know, comes standard on a Mac, so you don't need to download anything. Um, so again, Instagram.com, I am logged in. I'm looking at my account. Uh, and as you'll be able to see, uh, there's no place to be able to upload. I can look at my account. I can you know, see the different posts that are coming through, but Instagram on the web isn't designed to be able to upload. Obviously, Instagram was designed to upload from your phone. However, here's a little trick that you can use to get around that. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go up to Safari, uh, down to the dropdown and click on Preferences. Then what you wanna do is pop on over to Advanced and you wanna make sure if you do not already that you have this Develop check bar checked right here. I already have it checked since, well, I'm a developer so I use the development tools a lot, but you just wanna make sure that you check that if you haven't already. Then what we wanna do is we wanna pop on over to that Develop tab then we want to pop on down to user agent. Then when we go to user agent, we want to find iPhone. Once we hit iPhone, you're going to see that the interface changes quite a bit. Now you can actually, in addition to upload, you can actually access your DMs. And then you'll see now that you have this little plus icon, which if you are familiar at all with Instagram, you know that's where you're going to be able to upload. So all I got to do is tap that button or click that button. And then I've got an image already prepared here on my computer that I wanna to upload to Instagram. I just click choose. Then it'll give you the option to crop on a computer. This gets a little bit quirky. I think you can even go through and add some filters. Again, that can get a little bit quirky, but you can do it. Um, you can also edit, but I would recommend if you can, particularly if you're kind of savvy enough to know the type of photo that you're uploading, probably wanna do your editing beforehand. That's just gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, then we're just gonna click next. Then once we are in the next screen, we can just pop in here a nice little uh, caption. There we go. And then all you gotta do is uh, from here, if you want to, you can go ahead and add a location. You can also tag people in this image as well. And then they have some uh, extra advanced options as well, but pretty basic slimmed down version of what you're used to in Instagram. But then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and click share. Give that a quick moment. And there you go. You see it has now been posted to Instagram. So I sometimes like to pop in here as well and just type in a few uh, hashtags. There we go, click post. 
And there we go. So now what I can do is I can pop back on over to develop, go to user agent, and then set it back to default. And there you go. You see that that photo has now posted just as you would expect. Okay, so I know that was a really quick tip, but I wanted to share that with you. If nothing else, it will help you save some time in the future. Now, again, I'm using Safari on a Mac, so I can't vouch for Windows. It may work on Windows. You can try the same user agent trick if it's available on the browser that you're using uh, on a Mac. Again, it might work on Chrome, it might work on Firefox. I'm not sure. I just know that it works really clean and easily on Safari, so that's what I recommend trying. Uh, also, again, it's one of those things where if you're a person who likes to upload things that are on your computer, this hopefully will save you a lot of time and will prevent you from having to download any extra software. If you're wondering if this works with video, the answer is no, at least not to what I have experienced. I've tried uploading a number of videos and it only seems to work with photos. So again, if photos is your thing and you want to be able to upload from a Mac, this is a great free way to be able to save you some time. So as always, if you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.